be performing a monologue written by Salvador Loza in the point of view of Catalina. I feel like my children are pulling away from me. This pain is heart-wrenching. It's simply unbearable. My children no longer have time for me. They're always out doing their own thing now. You know? Hey, Mom, I'm going to eat lunch with my girlfriend that you haven't met. Or, hey, Mom, I forgot to mention that I'll be out doing this, that, and everything else. Here I am, stuck almost in tears with no clue about what to do. So I came to you for help. I know I shouldn't be this sad. I know that I have to let them go their own way eventually. I know, Mom, I know. But the thing is, knowing doesn't make it less difficult. I feel like a, like a mama bird watching her babies learn to fly. But I'm holding them back from learning because I know that once they do, they'll just fly away. Although, I want them to learn. I want them to see the beauty that this world can offer, but at the same time, I just want each and every one of them to stay here with me. I know I can't help both. So maybe you're right. Um, maybe I do have to learn to be strong like you were. Like you are. I have to let my little birdies learn to fly. And I will be performing a monologue written by Abigail Wilson point of view of Cecil. It's like it was just yesterday that she was here. My wife. Even though it's been many months since she passed away, they, they still keep adding up. Yeah. We were married for 15 years. We were going for 60, but just didn't make it. When she was growing weary and her kidneys were failing her, I made sure to show her I wouldn't. Seeing her struggle with that illness could never take away the image of when I first saw her. She was with her friend waiting for the bus, and I was with my friend in our drop-top convertible. I whistled, and she waited. And I guess you could say it was love at first sight, because 16 weeks later, we were married. That doesn't seem to happen anymore, you know? Finding someone to stay with and actually commit to. The last 30 years of our lives, we spent every day together. You see, I drove a truck, and she rode with me. She thought of it as her own little mini vacation. I guess visiting 48 states can make someone think that way. It's funny to think that many years ago, I proposed to her in her arms in the back of a truck. And that's where we ended up. All in all, I've lived a pretty good life. And I can't complain. And if I can, I have no one else to blame but myself. 